Hey, this is Anthony with Rimsel TV, where you can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Speed and Strength Dogs of War Moto Pant, available at Rimsel.com. This is the green version, there's also a black version. This is a cotton poly moto pant. What does that mean? It means it kind of looks like a jean, but it's cotton, it's gonna be a bit more breathable, have more of a cargo pocket style design. This year we saw s and come out with the Rust and Redemption, which are more of a Euro-inspired jean with a skinnier fit. These Dogs of War pants really have a similar line, albeit a less skinny fit, and they carry over some of the great flexibility features that are gonna allow the jean to, or the pant rather, to work with you. And again, you're getting that cotton aspect that will allow it to breathe. It's a little bit more lightweight. It's a little bit of a different look. The black version is very cool. The green version almost has these whiskers that distress to it, almost has this camo aspect to it if you get a good shot of it. Now, keep in mind, Kevlar infused at the knees and at the seat and at the hip. You're also gonna have adjustable CE rated vault armor in the knees that you are going to be able to move which is a really nice touch and that ties in nicely here with our accordion panels and you see the panel along the back now quick note on sizing and i will call out that these have a taper to them there's a light articulation but they are not a skinny pant but they're not also not baggy and stunter-esque like we've seen a lot of the other speed and strength jeans do or pants do over time keep that in mind hive is brian six foot 195 he's got a 34 inch jeans waist he's wearing a size 34 and i believe 32 length so you buy your jeans waist and then you select the length that you want to go for, 30, 32, or 34. Keep that in mind. You can add a belt to these bad boys as well. Now, remember, we're going to ship for free over 40 bucks, and I would love it if you would subscribe to us on YouTube and leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback, your gut reaction, damn it, to the new Dogs of War from Speed and Strength. Moving into some of the other nuances. We talked about the slide, or this really, it's a button up at the top. Notice the double belt loop configuration. If you're wearing a beefy belt, if you're wearing a belt and connecting to your jacket, there are options there. You can make sure in the riding position, everything stays in place. Slash pockets are very easily accessible whether you're standing or on your bike here along the side. And then as you move down, you are going to have these cargo pockets and you do tie in with the knee and we've covered the knee a little bit. The last thing on the front I wanna kinda of get to really quickly is the fact that it does taper down here towards the shoe. They're gonna stack a little bit. It's a little bit of smaller of an opening, not quite for a full Moto height boot. And he's wearing the Moto 9 shoes from Speed and Strength as well. Turn the face away from me there, HVB. Notice our pocket along the side, you got a cargo pocket style in the back, again, Little bit of extra stitching holding that Kevlar panel in place down here along the side. There's a lot going on. It's an aggressive looking jean. Turn backwards for me there, HVB. Looking at the top and working the way down, notice it is a mid-rise height. It's not quite low rise, but it's not as tall as a full riding jean. And you're gonna have that elasticated panel in the back that's gonna allow the, the pant to move with you. And then again, getting into the seat, it's more cargo styled. Come back around to the front. If we look at this pant, I would have liked to have seen them do a gusset along the crotch because it is a little bit slimmer and it's cut to ride with you. But I will say that in the seat as well as in the knee, these stretch panels are gonna allow it to stay very comfortable and keep everything in place, whether you're riding the bike, off the bike, or going down potentially. Again, it's nice and flexible and you're really getting a fine-tuned pair of moto clothing or pair of moto pants here as well. So next step in your journey is to click right here, read other rider reviews at Revzilla.com. Remember, you don't have to take my word for it. As always, we're going to ship for free. And if you wanna to talk to a gear geek about fit, sizing, or positioning within in the SNS line of the Dogs of War. See us at RevZilla.com or 877-92-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Don't forget to subscribe to us at RevZilla TV on YouTube. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.